All I'd say, boys, is don't go get chaotic and don't go quiet. If error happens tomorrow night, don't go get chaotic. No, 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 no. Calm, calm. What's our next job? Again, if we make a mistake, make sure we kill any error immediately. Does that make sense? It's really, really important tomorrow night, boys. First game week for Tigers. Um, yeah, it's been it's been really cool to be honest. It's been a really tough preseason. Eight, I think, nine weeks now. So things change pretty quickly for me. Um, you know, going into sort of May June last year, I was expecting to be spending the next couple of years at London Irish. Uh, but then things obviously went south in in that department, and uh, I had to go and find a new club pretty quick. So I was really grateful to Leicester for giving me the opportunity to come up here. Um, things are done differently here in, in different areas of the game, but that's to be expected with coming to a, a new team. So uh, I've really enjoyed it so far. It has been a big challenge. I've, it's kind of taken me out of my comfort zone, not, not, not only on the pitch, but also having to form new relationships with new players and, and spend time with people in that respect. So um, there's been a lot of new things, but I think it's been really good to be uncomfortable in some of those areas. And, and like I say, step outside that comfort zone. And that's probably helped me grow a bit more as a person and as a player as well. Yeah, I think I think playing against Leicester in the past in the London Irish jersey, you do you do feel I guess an added pressure because the stadium and the fans here are quite imposing. You know, it's always packed out. You get twenty or thousand people every time, um, so that is an added element of pressure. I think you know over time as as a professional player, it's something that you do start to become used to, but. It's always something that you'll acknowledge as well, and you you will always feel that bit of extra pressure from the crowd. So, it's it's quite nice to for this time, like I say, to be coming out, and it's actually people who are supporting you rather than are against you. Um, and having now felt it from both sides, you know, I can see how that crowd adds that extra benefit, and it can get you through those tough moments in the game uh, as a Leicester player. So I think you know they're a massive part of what we're going to be doing here this year. Yeah, the team run last week was really cool because it was the first time actually going onto the pitch uh, and getting a feel for what it was going to be like on a game day. Obviously, played at the stadium a few times against Leicester, uh, so I, I knew what to expect from an opposition side. But I think it's it's very different feeling going in there, knowing that the stands going to be packed out, but actually supporting you rather than um, cheering against you. So it was really cool to go in there for the team run, uh, get a feel for the stadium, get a feel for kind of what the pitch was like on the home side. How do we deal with mistakes? We try to kill errors and then we think about the next job. All I'd say, boys, is don't go get chaotic and don't go quiet. If an error happens tomorrow night, don't go get chaotic. No, 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 no. Calm, calm. What's our next job? Again, if we make a mistake, make sure we kill any error immediately. Does that make sense? It's really, really important tomorrow night, boys. Good week. Get off your legs, rest up, recover, and get ready to go tomorrow at 7 30. yeah, so Finn is obviously a very similar position to me. Um, he, was, he was playing number eight in the second half against Nottingham for the first time uh, on Friday. And he, he, similar to me, he'd also be playing six a lot as well. Um, so, you know, from, from the limited time that I've sort of spent around Finn training, I think, you know, he's, he, he looks like he's a very good prospect as a player, you know, physical, um, intelligent, good learner, good listener. Um, and, you know, particularly around the game on Friday uh, at the stadium, it was obviously his first time playing number eight. So um, I was just trying to give him a little bit of advice about some of the positional changes that you might see there going from six to eight, uh, having done that quite a bit of my career between the two.
fans everywhere, even for a pre-season game, you know, it's great to have a bit of a buzz around the stadium. You could tell everyone was excited to be back for the new season. Um, and I really enjoyed getting out there for the first time in a Tigers jersey. On your debut, dance now. Now? Yeah, dance now. <laughs> yeah, after the game was a good buzz. I think obviously we're happy to get a win, which is always a good start. Um, you know, 30 lads all got to put on the shirt, a couple of debuts, myself included, but other, of some other young lads as well, uh, like Charlie Mile, guys like that coming through the academy, only 18 years old. Um, so there's a buzz around guys like that getting on the pitch in a Tigers jersey too. Um, I think, you know, there's still a lot of areas of the game that we know we can improve on. We, there were certain facets, particularly around our discipline, we felt we gave away too many penalties, particularly in the second half. Um, and I think some of our, um, our line speed in defence, we know we can improve as well. So there's a few little bits and pieces of our game that you know, we want to we wanna hone now over the coming few weeks, particularly in this Premiership Cup block. Um, so we're going to go away and work on those and uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come from us in that respect. Don't walk out of here, OK, and spend the, next, the rest of the weekend with your bottom lip on the ground. It's our first hit out. Understand what was our expectation out of tonight. You've got to be realistic in and around that. A little bit of rust, we've got rid of the rust, we learn from it, we'll review it hard and we'll be much better for the run and better for it next week. It's a control game, boys. Sorry, just one last thing. What's our theme for next week? What do you reckon? I'm giving you one word. Discipline. Discipline. Okay, discipline. SFPs, I call them. Stupid penalties. We'll eliminate them real quick. Cool? Yeah. Right, enjoy beer or Pepsi, whatever you want. <laughs> So obviously we've got one more game coming up this weekend against Coldy at the Mattioli Woods Welf Rose Stadium. We'd love to see you guys down there. All the support is going to be absolutely massive to get us off to a really good start on this Prem Cup campaign. So I look forward to seeing you down there this Saturday.